a large disturbance in the sea can be observed Tuesday off the coast of the Danish island of Bornholm following unusual leaks in two natural gas pipelines running from Russia under the Baltic Sea to Germany. Danish Prime Minister Meta Frederiksen says she cannot rule out sabotage on Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2. Danish Defence Command via FIDE Caption Toggle Caption Danish Defence Command via APA Large disturbance in the sea can be observed Tuesday off the coast of the Danish island of Bornholm following unusual leaks in two natural gas pipelines running from Russia under the Baltic Sea to Germany. Danish Prime Minister Meta Frederiksen says she cannot rule out sabotage on Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2. Danish Defense Command via AP2 undersea leaks that began in the Russian-owned Nord Stream gas pipelines on Monday were likely caused by powerful underwater explosions, according to Swedish and Danish seismographic data. It is very clear from the seismic record that these are blasts, Bjorn Lund, director of the Swedish National Seismic Network at Uppsala University told NPR in a phone interview. These are not earthquakes, they are not landslides underwater. German and Danish officials said both the Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 pipelines showed sudden losses of pressure late Monday, which they said could only be caused by a leak from large holes in the pipelines. Neither of the pipelines are active, as Russia has cut gas deliveries in them, but both were filled with natural gas when the drop in pressure occurred. Russian energy giant Gazprom, a state entity, owns a controlling interest in both pipelines. Denmark's Prime Minister, Meta Frederiksen, said on Tuesday that her government suspected the leaks were deliberate actions. Danish authorities reported the location of the Nord Stream 1 leak is northeast of the Baltic Sea island of Bornholm, and the Nord Stream 2 leak is southeast of the island. German media, quoting unnamed security officials, say it's possible the leaks are a result of an act of sabotage, as it's extremely rare for undersea, concrete-coated steel pipes to break on their own. Authorities have halted all shipping in the area around the leaks. Lund says both the Swedish network and the Danish seismic network picked up the explosions on Monday. The first blast occurred at 2.03 a.m. Swedish time, and a second, larger explosion occurred at 7.04 p.m. Preliminary estimates would say that this is at least equivalent to 100 kilograms of dynamite, he says. Lund says the seismic data was able to pinpoint the second blast to within just a few kilometers of the location the Swedish Maritime Authority gave as the site of the second leak. We're not spot on but were fairly close to the area of the leakage, he says. Lund says there is no natural event that could have created such unique seismic signatures less than 24 hours apart, 